Uh, hi, my name is Arpit Vashisht. I am a student of Mechanical Engineering, 4th year, Delhi Technological University. And um, I got hired by Hero Motor Corp during the recruitment drive at the campus of DTU. And uh, I would like to thank Placement Board for giving me this opportunity to share my interview and experience with Hero Motor Corp. Yeah, so Hero Motor Corp is, uh, is an Indian company. It's a two-wheeler manufacturer of motorcycles and scooters and cycles. And it's actually world's largest two-wheeler manufacturer by volume. And it, it, it has a market share of about 50% in the two-wheeler automobile sector of India. And it has its markets in abroad in countries like US, South, South America, Brazil, etc. And the company was here to hire for the position of GET, that is Graduate Engineer Trainee. And obviously that our departments will be decided only after the training period of 10 months. Placement procedure involved four rounds. First was the uh, written test, second was GD, third was a psychometric test and fourth was the final interview. The written test was actually a, an online test. It had both questions from technical as well as aptitude and uh, the technical, the level of questions was quite good. I mean they were really good questions. The technical questions were from strength of materials, IC engines, uh, there was MD, machine design, and the aptitude questions were general, like quantitative, logical reasoning, etc. After one month, the result came of the written test. About, I think around 200 students sat for written test, and about 35 students were shortlisted based on the written test. And uh, it was then only when the HR people uh, of the Hero Motor Corp came, and then they uh, start, they did with us the pre-placement talks, and uh, after the pre-placement talk, this, there was this GD round. Yeah, the topic of my GD was computers are affecting the creativity of individuals. So we were supposed to uh, either support or you know oppose this topic. And there were around 10 students in my panel of the group discussion. And most of the students were in support of this topic. There was only one student. I was also in support of this topic. And there was just one student who was against it. And he, he did not get hired after, you know, he did not get selected, he, he couldn't clear the round of GD maybe because he was, he was very stubborn on his opinion. So I think my advice would be that you should not be very stubborn if you have an opinion. And basically the moderators were looking for guys who were, who were confident and they knew what they are trying to say. If they are giving some examples or if they are giving some uh, conclusions, then they should know what they are, what they are saying in GD. After that, it was the psychometric test, and the psychometric test has simple questions like about your behavior, what do you like, what you don't like, and uh, the background of the psychometric test is that they 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 test your psycho psychology. They give you a rating on how much confident you are, how much uh, adamant you are on every aspect of your personality. They give you a rating according according to the psychometric test. So uh, for that test, you should just be confident. You should just be truthful. Just, just answer what is what, what suits your personality the best, and don't try to overthink. Don't try to you know double think the answer of that question. Don't try to be over smart. Just be honest while answering those questions. Okay, so my interview was not a very long one. It went for around ten or twelve minutes or so, and the other students, the, the, there were ten students who got shortlisted for the final interview round, and uh, some had for around 30 minutes or 35 minutes interview but my interview was for around only 12 minutes or so they started with asking my family background what my father does what my mother does and everything else and um, then there was not much of technical part in the interview like the only technical questions were that of uh, that related to my projects and all i did internships with four different companies and i was in a car team then i i was also in the dramatics society so most of the questions revolved around these things only like uh, like one of uh, one of the internships that i did was with yamaha yamaha motors and then they asked like which department i work for and um, uh, then they asked what, what is five what are five s principles then I explained to them what are 5S principles and uh, then I did, a, I did an internship with DMRC, Delhi Metro Rail Corporation 
and then they asked uh, what what type of gears are used in metro metro trains and uh, i told them that helical gears are used then they asked uh, wh what are the gear ratios that are used there then they asked what is gear module and i didn't know what is a gear module yeah after that they asked me about an online course that i did and it was mentioned in my cv the course uh, i did it from course era and uh, the course the name of the course was creative problem solving it was under a professor uh, from university of minnesota and then they asked some questions about like uh, what did you learn in that course uh, what was the syllabus of that course and they were just normal questions and uh, then they asked whether i am ready to shift out of delhi whether i am ready to leave my parents here and uh, then they asked which department would i prefer and i said like any department in which i can have maximum chances of growth whether it be the production department or the r and d department or the marketing department so basically uh, just to crack the interview just just tell them what they want to hear don't say no to anything just say yes if they say if you are ready to leave delhi just say yes i am ready to leave delhi if they say are you ready to join this department yes i am ready to join this department so you have to say just be a little diplomatic to crack the interview the most important suggestion that i would like to give is be a little diplomatic be confident but be a little diplomatic i mean tell them what they want to hear and uh, if they ask you tell me about yourself then that question would be the most important question of your interview seriously i mean try to engage them as much as possible while telling them about yourself and uh, tell them as much as possible any any achievements that you had uh, and and uh, try to make make the, all that achievements in a chronological order like starting from your 10th standard 11th standard and tell them why you did that like uh, if you joined btech then why did you join btech not bsc and if you chose mechanical over automobile or production then why did you do that just tell them everything to another advice that i would like to give is when the pre placement talk is going on and after the talk when they when they the hr ones say that do you have any questions to ask so try to ask some questions try to be more interactive in the uh, ppt because when you when you ask some questions the hr ones they they kind of remember your face in the gd interview so try to be more and more you know interactive in the ppt and for books for preparation i would recommend arun sharma for quant and your normal course course books for the technical stuff and all the best for your interview and just give me a treat when you get placed and uh, please comment below if you have any queries and please subscribe this channel of placement boat these guys are doing really good job what subscribe subscribe the channel subscribe i'm not going subscribe subscribe